Weapon Lance. So that that is also could work because Weapon Lance is very good at um, at diving in and deleting a squishy carry. Yep, and there will be the Adagio pickup. So it seems like when they lost their connection, their devices got reset to quite a few patches back, <laughs> and they've gone and picked up the double healer comp against that of a no support. 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 carry. What? I said it myself. It's support. We've got Kr Kestrel Weapon and Scarf CP in the jungle. That's the Renegades comp going up against yeah. whatever. I, I mean, <laughs> it's not necessarily such a bad comp per se on the side of Elite, eight's comp, yeah, uh, Elite could work. 8. However, I think it would be better if they had the saw in their hands. It could definitely work out. But with mm. a lance alongside it, do you think who is going to be the Roma here? Because it's triple Roma <laughs> against no Roma at this point. That is true. Honestly, I don't really mind what the uh, what the draft is, as long as these teams play it properly and hopefully if effectivity issues are fixed. It's going to be a fun game to watch. We're going to see what is more OP. Is it triple Rome? Is it triple carry? And which team is going to be able to play it better? My, my The most obvious thing is that it's going to be a CP Adagio, Weapon Lance and Rome Lyra. So because that's the obvious thing, I think it's going to be a Rome Lance, a Weapon Lyra and a Jungle CP Adagio. That's what, that's what I'm going with because... If it's obvious, then I'm not going to go for that. And on the side of Renegades, it will probably be a sore support, maybe a, a casual support because you know you get a stun. So we might be seeing a casual support, but they could they could do whatever they want. Actually, it's it, with this kind of draft, you you never know. Yeah, you really never know with this kind of draft. Indeed, it is what we would call surprising you mentioned it yourself in the first draft you said i would like to see some interesting picks and bads and this yeah, is the match this is if the match. <laughs> how do you feel well i feel sad i think this is the only draft ever that black feather has been let through i think oh it, took us a, it took us a whole season black feather was just let through the draft and i said if anyone's got any pocket picks any pocket strats if they don't play it in this finals, they're not going to be able to play it. And so perhaps the support will be played in the final. And it was it was always seen as quite strong because early game, you don't build any damage. And if they don't focus the captain, Saw is going to do a lot of damage. But then Saw has a fountain, so you don't want to focus him. You want to focus the squishy carries. There's, there's going to be an awful lot of early game pressure from Renegades because triple carry is known as being extremely annoying early on in the game. It's just later on when it starts to fall off versus having a, a proper captain with CC. Uh, yep, and we're just waiting for the players to load in. You can see where the opportunity would come through for the side of Elite 8 to win by the fact that if there's going to be no support items being mm. built up, from Renegades, but that also means a whole lot of damage, and if Renegades can utilize that correctly, it's going to be impossible to even jump on or get near. Yeah, I'm actually very sad to see that despite this draft, Flicker still left without being played. I hope I, I really wanted to see a Flicker because he's not as bad as everyone thinks he is. It's just that he's an extremely hard captain to play, and the reward is very hard to to achieve. But if you play Flicker correctly, you can have uh, you can have quick games, you can have ten minute games, and just snowball. Because as a laner, if they pick up something like a Kestrel lane, Flicker destroys that. And so uh, something that I would like to see, but we're not going to quite get it in this game. May maybe at Worlds we might see a Flicker. Perhaps at Worlds we will see a flicker. Uh, do you know if at Worlds they will be playing on that of the new uh, update? Because Worlds is, mm. I believe, a uh, weekend December, December 17th. Uh, a month Worlds. away, actually. So yeah. I could imagine they'd be playing on that of the new patch, and it'll be interesting to uh, see go through as to all the changes that go through, because we talked about, as we casted challenges this week, all the new changes that made such a huge impact into the heroes we saw come on board, as well as the item pickups. And then jumping back to this weekend has been rather, uh, I, I say it too much, interesting, but it is what it was, because going back, we see the constant Rhyme and Black Feather focus, but Rhyme mm -hmm. being allowed through in quite a lot of today's matches, as well as the Saw pickup coming through. So it's going to be uh, something to look forward to, that 2.10 update mm. being played for Worlds and how the teams, how the pro teams adapt to that. Because we saw how challengers fought about it, and you could see that Alpha is still on board as a very good jungler. And it is 
in their patch notes they said we're looking at longer team fights and i think this is yeah. all in preparation to that of the bigger picture of 5v5 i feel coming around the corner which is another exciting thing to look forward to the show match that renegades will mm. be playing in in worlds yeah i don't think it's quite it's released yet what patch worlds will be on but it's most likely 2.10 i highly doubt in the next couple of weeks they're going to release a 2.11 that, that teams can prepare for worlds in time so we're going to probably be on 2.10 for that event but we are now loading into the house to unfold for the second game is it going to be captain triple captain or is it going to be triple carry we're going to have to wait and find out and it looks like we're going to have a um a, 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 a captain lyra a cp adagio and a weapon lance from elite eight so it looks like they are actually going for the meta of meta picks and are we going to see a triple lane focus from renegades no jungle yeah, they are rotating down to their jungle, especially, as I mentioned, with the damage output. They have no reason not to. They're going to be able to take this out of Triumph very quickly. They couldn't even go for the invade if they decide to do so, which you can see SNK positioning for to take this mid Triant away from Elite A. And it looks like they will be able to because Official Hind was left on his own to clear his backs. And that is a Lance who's going to be quite slow at doing so. Meanwhile, Elite A putting that focus Focus up in this lane will be able to get a bit of damage onto that turret but receiving a bit uh from that kestrel who rotated back up and it looks like kestrel for now will be focusing alongside that of tesla boy up in this lane going very low game burnt down the first blood going over to the side of elite eight but the second falls to that of tesla boy for the side of renegade so one for one at the moment and snk just gonna help out by picking up that uh, minion candy and I can see at least by putting scarf in the jungle alone You're helping that scarf reach their late game earlier. So not a bad strategy coming out from the side of renegades Yeah, I definitely think that oh Tesla boy misses on with that shank. I definitely think that we're gonna Carry I don't know if we're going to get a fountain um, I'm not quite sure if uh, if anyone's gonna get it, but it looks like today Going for soul blade so will SNK and I'm me using the boots trying to dodge dive around the shingy but Kestrel's going to be there, so I know he's me could be in a bit of trouble. But no, SNK is deciding that Scarf's got this in a one versus one, and he probably will. Yep, and we do see that Scarf chasing down anime save me. <laughs> eventually be able to pick up a kill. No Kestrel's energy right that. now, but no, Kestrel leaves oh. it for Chingy. Uh, very nice sportsmanship there. Kestrel playing for support, Kestrel, but with damage items. I mean, it's still SNK in the, at the end of the day. Yeah, definitely. I think uh, it's going to be a support Kestrel because Kestrel has built regular minion candy. So that's a, a nice supporting item that has been picked up. Tesla boy, booted, stunned. Let's get caught out in that impale, followed through by the Giffion wall. And you can see the burn really doing work coming through for Elite 8. They might have a fighting chance in this match as we see the Scarf rotating up to the lane. Once again, taking down Anime Save Me. But SNK fairly low on that back line. Needs to be careful of a possible impale coming through. There's going to be the minion candies popped, however. And they slowly push back Elite 8. Dragon, uh... Spitfire going to hit, and for now, they're holding their ground until Tesla Boy comes back. And Official Heim probably going to get caught out because he came out at the wrong time, did not know Tesla Boy would be back at that moment, and does not finish off Chingy. Yeah, Tesla Boy is going to be very healthy, trying to push down this turret. He's picked up a minion candy himself, so that's going to be a lot of lame pressure. Anime saved me constantly in lane, trying to stop this push. Adagio with lots of attack speed, which does help his early game, clear speed, early game pressure. Because Tesla Boy can do a little bit of damage, but not that much. Gold lead is about 1k in favor of Renegades because they're just they're they're able to get a lot more gold because they don't have a captain who isn't meant to get CS. So Tesla Boy is getting all the lane, and SNK is free to just rotate into Lance's jungle and take all of that because he's a carry as well as Thor. Yep, and we see so much damage coming down onto Official Hind, but they're not able to finish him off the heal coming through from Anime Save Me on that Lyra. will be enough for Adagio walking into the line of fire next up. And Tesla Boy just going to continue to keep his stacks as he pushes the lane. And a double kill for that of Chingy, 
the emo coming through from SNK and they will find that crystal sentry rotating down into that jungle as they go to steal away the tree amp but they want to spot they don't out want we'll get the tree uh, we'll get the turret as you mentioned and SNK gets taken down but they do manage to help take down that of official hind before they die Tesla boy spun up no one wants to fight him just yet we'll use the roadie run to get out of it and he's just gonna go back to base yeah, Shingy wants to pick up that Shatter Glass. Tesla Boy can pick up a Saw Blade when he next goes down into the shop. Um, I think yes, it's just an awful lot of damage. And what Elite 8 needs to do is survive. Because late game, they will have this. They have a proper captain on Anime Save Me. He's picked up Journey Boots and uh, Sprint Boots. So maybe I'm wrong in saying that he's going to be a proper captain. Uh, because if, if Anime Save Me decides to go for a fountain and go for actual build, there he goes, going towards that fountain then late game they're going to have this because the triple carry does fall off incredibly hard. Yep, and we will see that the damage output, however, will be enough at all fairly low, but Anime Save Me there on his own will not be up to do anything. Han Yeager's might, though, as they kite around that Chingy. It looks like they could pick them up, but Chingy is going to help pull off the A7-0 on this scarf. Yeah, double infusions from Renegades. They want to see if they can beat their record for the previous quickest game and see if they can push this turret down a bit quicker. But Official Hine did an, so much damage with an Impale into Githy Maul combo. All three members face at the bush, he just destroyed them. But it wasn't quite enough, the rest of his team weren't quite there. And is this going to be them pushing into the base already? Renegades, see if they can do some work. Yeah, Renegade's probably looking to end out the game as quick as possible, especially while the enemy remains squishy and they're able to do so. Han Yeager's going so very low, caught out on the suppressing fire. Could we see a possible, uh, perhaps, eight minute, seven minute game? I feel like eight minutes something was the quickest game we've seen. Or I was think it under, seven, under eight minutes, minutes, I'm pretty seven sure. Minutes, I'm pretty sure that if we get a game under eight minutes, that will be quicker. They're looking like they want to get this in maybe seven, oh, actually. My. Oh, Here we right. go. They get the first turret, but they don't they have need the way to back them up just yet. It looks like Anime Save Me is off on their own journey into the enemy. No, game. don't pull home. Shingy, no, win the game. Oh, no, Renegade. Renegade. Not going to be able to get the seven minute game here just yet, as they only have another 15 seconds till that's over. But Anime Save Me is caught out, is going to be killed. No oh, yeah. trespassing Shingy around gold. here. Yep, Shingy wants Shingy, to go. Now 9 and 0, oh, way ahead of the kill per minute. We are now sitting at two about, kills a minute. We're seeing it's 16 kills on the board, and it was two kills per minute just prior to that. But it still is. Yeah, it still is overall, but Renegades seeing if they can push this. I think, yeah, they could have hit him on the game, but Official Hine is so dead. Yep, uh, not too sure what he's doing there. He will also go down to the Renegades monster at this point. And Renegades, as long as they stick go. together, they'll be fine. We see them rotating up. They don't spot out the scout trap. So Anime Save Me going to take that opportunity to go and lay some damage down onto this tier one turret, but the minion wave soon to be cleared out. Meanwhile, Kestrel actually fighting out with Han Yeager's in their own jungle needs to be careful of, that Kest uh, of the Crystal Sentry. Not the Kestrel Sentry, but it may as well be at this point because it's making sure she does not get into their uh, jungle. But they will get into the base of Bren uh, of e Elite Eight, and there's going to be one shot, one kill onto no one. Looks like the game will be finishing at around eight minutes thirty, unless Elite Eight have one last chance to fight this off, one last kick of fighting spirit left in them. But you can see the damage coming through from Minions Renegades, it's it. just until Tessa Boy joins in in the fight. Meanwhile, Chingy and uh, SNK will be enough on their own. They get the kill onto Adagio, follow through with the Lance. They're going to get the turret, and it looks like we'll see a prior nine-minute game here as we're going to finish it off fairly soon. I still perhaps. don't think this is the quickest, though. I do not think I don't. I feel game like game. it was seven minutes, 40 or 30. Something mm. could have been the quickest. But the game is over. In the end, Renegades take a very simple series, 2-0. to nil. It's very disappointing from Elite 8. It was unprofessional, to say the least, because they have made their way to world, so they guaranteed their spot. But looking at this, if I was a team thinking, uh, thinking I was going to play against Elite 8, I wouldn't be worried at all. I'd actually yeah. be quite happy to join the same group as Elite 8. Hopefully, they, 